Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with another unboxing video, and today I will be unboxing my November Bookly Box. As many of you may know, I'm a Bookly Box affiliate, so I receive one of their boxes every month for review. And if you don't know, Bookly Box is a monthly subscription box that sends out a new book every single month, but they have like a selection of genres that you can choose from, so you can choose from literary fiction, science fiction, fantasy, mystery, thriller, a bunch of different things. You can go on their website and pick from them, and you can always change your genre whenever you want. So it's really cool because you get that kind of personalization to it. And this month I'm unboxing their November box and Bookly Box has actually kind of revamped their box recently. If you can tell from my other ones, if you've seen my other unboxings, their box is usually just plain black, but now they've kind of like added stuff to it. There are a bunch of words and hashtags and things on here. I think they're just trying to change up the boxes a little bit. They're not really all that different from what I understand, but I think we're gonna be getting some other items in here or maybe some hardcover books instead of paperback books. I'm not 100% certain, but I am very excited to unbox this and find out. But since I am an affiliate, I also have a promo code that you guys can use. So if you enter the code clockwork at checkout, then you get 10% off of your subscription and it carries over every single month. So you don't have to enter the code multiple times. Once you enter it once, then you get 10% off for every single month, which is really cool. But of course, I will leave all of that information listed down below if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. But without any further ado, since I am very excited to see what's in here, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, I have cut it open with scissors and now let us see. The first thing that we have in here is the card that always comes in here. And I forgot to mention before, but with every box that is ordered, Bookly Box donates a book to those in need. And usually they work with Books for Africa, and I believe that's who they're working with this month as well. So this card right here just provides some information on where the books are donated for the month, and this month they are going to Burundi. And on here you just have a bunch of statistics about Burundi, like literacy rate and child labor, internet access, things like that. I always love reading through these after I go through the whole box. And I say this in every single video, but this is is definitely my favorite part of this box. It's just such a great thing to do and I think that it goes to such a wonderful cause. All right, so next in here is the bag that has the book and all the goodies. Okay, so inside I'm just gonna pull things out as I see them. The first thing in here is this bookmark. On the front side it says, Shh, I'm reading, and then on the back there's a quote that says, I find television very educating. Every time somebody turns on the set, I go into the other room and read a book, which is a really, really funny quote. I really like that. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing in here is what is is this oh my god this is so funny so this is a coaster in the form of the like grinning emoji and this is literally my favorite emoji I am obsessed with this coaster I am definitely gonna get some great use out of this this is seriously like my favorite emoji I use it all the time all right the next thing I'm seeing in here is this little lemon it looks like a lemon oh this is a tea infuser this is so so cute it's a little tea infuser so you just put the tea in here and then you just put this in your tea and let it soak in there and it looks like a little lemon slice and it's so so cute I love these things and the tea infuser goes perfectly with the next two things that are in here which are these two packets of tea this one is passion tea which is one of my favorites it's like the only thing I'll order from Starbucks and then the other one is a chai vanilla caramel tea which just sounds really really good. I am so excited to try this. This is like the perfect wintery tea. And finally of course the last thing and the most exciting thing in this box is the book and I got the literary fiction box once again and this month's book is Afterward by Jennifer Matthew. This time it's actually a hardcover book. Usually they have paperback books in their boxes but we got a nice hardcover this time so that might be one of the new things that they're vamping up about the box which I really like. I have no idea what this book is about so let's read the synopsis. When 11 year-old Dylan Anderson is kidnapped from Dove Lake, Texas, the search for him and his remarkable rescue make national headlines because when authorities find Dylan, they also find 15-year-old Ethan Jorgensen, who was gone on a bike ride four years earlier and had never been seen again. Dylan's older sister, Caroline, can't help but wonder what happened to her brother, who isn't adjusting to life well back at home. Since Dylan has nonverbal autism, he can't tell her, so there's only one person who knows the truth. Ethan, but Ethan isn't sure how he can help Caroline when he is fighting traumatic memories of his own. Both Caroline and Ethan need a friend, however their best option just might be each other. Told from the perspectives of both Ethan and Caroline, the story of an unlikely friendship explores what comes after trauma and how light can be found in the midst of darkness. 
That sounds like it's gonna be really, really good. I am really excited to read this. It sounds like it deals with a lot of important issues like trauma and recovering from that, of course, as well as mental illness and just relationships in general. And I think that this is going to be a very, very fun read. Obviously, thematically, it's much more dark, but I think it's something that I could really enjoy. And I'd never heard of this before, so I'm very intrigued and excited to pick it up. That's actually another thing I really like about Bookly Box as well, because I usually never know the books that are going to be in the box. I can't guess them and I've usually never heard of them. So it's really exciting for me to just pick up a new book that I've heard nothing about and just dive into it and explore it for myself. So it kind of gets me out of my comfort zone and gets me to pick up some new things and I really like that about it. Alright guys, so that is everything that is in this month's Bookly box. I really, really enjoyed this month's box. I think they had a lot of cool things in here. I am obsessed with this emoji coaster. I think it is so funny and cute. Thank you so much to Bookly box for sending me this box this month. I am so, so excited about it. I think that this month's box has been my favorite so far, and I think that this update has been wonderful. So I've gotten the literary fiction box for the past three months, and I wanted to ask you guys which box you think I should get for the next couple of months. I kind of wanted to change it up and see what's in the other boxes. I know the items are the same, but I wanted to check out some of the other books. So I will leave a list of the genres that you can choose from in the description box and let me know which genre you think I should switch to for next month. I know they have a young adult one and a fantasy one that I'm really interested in trying. So definitely let me know which genre you would like me to check out for next month's unboxing. And of course, once again, all of the information for Bookly Box as well as my promo code will all be listed in the description box if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. But that is it for this video. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!